Okay, this demonstration, I'm going to show you how I clean my airbrush. For the airbrush I'm using is an Iwata HPC. This is uh, the older one, not the HPC Plus. Um, most Iwatas are very similar in design. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first take off uh, the, the crown cap, which is this small piece up here. Now I have this small little cup that I use to hold all my parts and how I use to clean them. So next I'm going to take off the nozzle cap which is this piece. Now I'm just going to unscrew the, the chuck and take out the needle. I'm going to set this aside and take this apart and also set you know these uh, back areas apart. For cleaning the airbrush, I'm only concerned about this front part from this section on. I'm not going to worry about cleaning the rest of these parts as uh, paint should never reach these areas. I'll go ahead and finish taking apart my brush and set all those pieces aside. Now, I want it comes with a, you know a little wrench to remove the um, nozzle. That's a very small piece and probably the most important piece in your airbrush is this. So be careful not to strip it and you have to take a very a lot of care when removing this piece so that you don't lose it and you don't break this piece. Okay, I'm going to put that also in my uh, little cup. Now this cup size is perfect so I could put my airbrush in the cup like so. So it's just standing up. Now what I usually do is I take some recycled uh, lacquer thinner and just fill the cup up to the point where it just covers the paint cup. I really don't really want thinner going back beyond the body or beyond the um, air, where the air comes in from. So this would be good enough to just let this soak. Now, if you have a, you can let this soak for you know, 20 minutes, an hour, and then take it out and clean it. Uh, but for my purposes, I have. I have an ultrasonic cleaner. Now what I could do with this is I could stick this into the ultrasonic cleaner, fill the ultrasonic cleaner with some water, set my ultrasonic cleaner and then just set it to go. Now what this does is this will thoroughly clean my airbrush. And I took some pictures of the airbrush before the cleaning and I'll take some pictures afterwards and you can see the difference uh, that this cleaning process has. Putting the airbrush back together is going backwards. And I'll get to that when I'm done uh, cleaning this.